Hi, this is Peter Menchvico from Stanford University. I'm going to show you how to create an account and sign in to the REVS Digital Library website. Now, you don't need an account to view the images, but we hope you'll create one anyway. Because once you create an account, you'll be able to do things like save your favorites, create custom galleries, annotate images, and uh, you'll be able to view all these things on your profile page. So let's start with how you can create an account. If you look at the top navigation here, you'll see there's a link to sign up. You provide an email address, select a username, which could be shown publicly when you make annotations or create galleries, and choose a password which has at least eight characters. Fill in all these fields and click the sign up button. You can also decide if you want to subscribe to a couple different mailing lists if you're interested in learning more about the REVS program at Stanford or the REVS Institute in Naples, Florida. After you click the sign up link, you're going to have to check your email address, the one you used here, and click a link to verify your email address. Once you have your account, you'll be able to use a sign in link. Once you get to the sign in page, you just enter in your email address or username that you're registered with and click the sign in link. You'll know you're signed in because we replace the sign in and sign up links in the top navigation with your name and a menu with some options. For example, you can view your profile and then you can do things like update your profile, change your email address or password, and then view some of the things you've saved in your account like your favorites, galleries, annotations. And anything you do on the website associated with your account will end up on your profile page. You'll notice my profile page is currently private, which means I'm the only one that can view all the things that I'm doing. But you have the choice of making that public, and if you update your profile, you can add things like a Twitter handle, a website, a biography, a picture, and you can make your profile page public. If you make your profile page public, other users will be able to see you if you were to give them your address. And your address is just revslib.stanford.edu slash user slash your username. So that's a nice way of sharing out what you're doing on the website, your favorites and galleries and so on with other users. So we hope you create an account and enjoy using the website.